Hey Virgo, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon, I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Saturday, February 13th. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. The heart of your reading, we have the Four of Wands reversed. Has to do with a short term goal. I feel like it's um, it's not anything that's been taken away from you. It's not a failure. It's like um, you you are setting a new goal to replace the old goal based on changing circumstances. It feels like a healthy decision, like a productive decision, um, like it will benefit you. What's the challenge here for Virgo? Wheel of Fortune, seizing the right timing. Yeah, totally. You're aligned with timing and you wanna jump on an opportunity. So a goal that you previously had you are shifting. This is this is uh, like agility. What are Virgos focused on? Eight of Swords. Hmm. Let me clarify this. This is um, stuck in your own head. Are you, maybe you're overthinking something. I mean, it might not be what it seems at face value right now. Stuck in your head. Tell me more about the Ace of, the Eight of Swords. Lovers in reverse. I think you want to prove something to someone. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but there's someone from your past that's stuck in your head and you're trying to prove yourself to them it's like see I told you I could do it sort of energy mm. I can't tell if this is healthy or unhealthy energy. You might just be using them as like a motivating factor, like wanting to prove your haters wrong. But if taken to the extreme, it can be, um, it can go to an unhealthy place. Where, like, if your sole reason for accomplishing something is to go, um, like, shove it in someone's face and force them to acknowledge your success because you need um, approval from them in order to feel vindicated, that would be, like, the, the lower vibrational uh, manifestation of this energy. In your recent past, we have strength. Gearing up the courage for this undertaking. Going after what you want, Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Not only gearing up courage, I'm also getting um, 
like honing skills. Like, like you've wanted to go uh, whitewater rafting and you might have dated someone in the past who invited you to go whitewater, whitewater rafting and you said, uh, that's not really my cup of tea. Uh, if, I, if I'm being honest, I'm a little scared of that. I don't know if I'm a strong swimmer. And it could be the energy of like, all right, you're no longer with that person, but that also, that always kind of stuck with you. And you wished that you were the type of person that would have gone whitewater rafting. And so what you've done in the meantime is uh, take swimming lessons or spend a lot of time in the pool to get more comfortable with swimming. Uh, you may have uh, gotten some sort of certification or started off slow with like level one rapids and worked your way up. And now you're doing something that's like uh, the 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 pinnacle of what you wanted to prove to yourself or prove to them but there's some sort of opportunity that's changed it's like presented itself so you might have planned on going to a, a level four rapids but the the travel uh, like that that park is shut down for covid and but a new one opened up but it's a level five so you're like oh okay am i ready for this I know that's very, very particular, but um, hopefully the, the analogy is making sense. It's funny, you guys, the more particular I get, the more it surprises me. Um, I'll, I'll see comments like, that's so crazy. I was totally planning a whitewater rafting trip. So um, please, if you if you are planning that, tell me. I, I love to hear that sort of feedback. Um, but it's not necessary in order to, for this reading to make sense. Um, it's it's one uh, one way of describing the energies. Your environment is represented by the King of Pentacles, wanting to feel prepared, in control, and oh. grounded so this whole topic might have something more to do with um, your career your profession your ability to provide or earn money Or if anyone's ever accused you of being flighty, I know, how could they accuse Virgo of being flighty? But if that's in your history, then this could be a reaction to that, like, I'm grounded and responsible and I make responsible decisions and, you know, here's evidence. In the near future, Knight of Cups. So I do think you're actually going to... Um, yeah, I mean, my instinct is that, that you want to go and show this person what you've accomplished. Say, aren't you proud of me? How do you feel about me now? Now, like I was getting at, the shadow side of that energy is, do you love me now that I've accomplished what you said I couldn't do? Um, just be careful of that. If that's if that part of it is resonating with you, I caution against that um, that approach. If not um, approaching a person with this energy, you might actually just be acting on something that you love to do. So once you once you feel more comfortable and you've honed these skills and you feel grounded in it it might actually turn into something that you enjoy doing on a regular basis. Something that was about like overcoming a fear or an aversion to something. They're also giving me skydiving. It's, it's funny, they're giving me a little bit of this like daredevil sort of I don't know why they're giving me whitewater rafting and skydiving.
it's like you made a decision that was risk averse and now you're wanting to hone skills to allow you to be more expert in the area, in the same area, so that you can go do the thing, but feel um, like it's a responsible decision, not like it's an irresponsible, I, dangerous. Removing the element of danger through practice and gradual building yourself up to the level of um, like serious testing your skills. But yeah, I do feel like somehow this is either going to bring you in connection with someone who could be a romantic interest. Like perhaps you meet someone whitewater rafting and you end up falling in love with them. Or this could be that you just end up really love, you love doing that and it becomes a regular part of your life. Or you might be going back to that person saying, Hey, so-and-so, I know you haven't heard from me in a while, but just wanted to show you these pictures of me whitewater rafting. Your surprise energy is that you're going to feel such a relief when you finally do the thing. Ten of Wands in reverse. It's been a chip on your shoulder. And you will feel so much lighter after you do the thing. Your hopes and fears, six of cups. This is what I was getting at with that. Um, thinking back to the person from the past and how they're gonna feel about you once they find out that you've done the thing. Hey, I might be wrong here. Maybe they will be super impressed and they'll greet you with open arms and everything will be just like in the storybooks. Your end result, we have the Empress. So, you will be able to create something here, and there is the potential for someone finding you very attractive. Because of, of what you're doing here, what you're accomplishing here. You could actually elevate yourself in someone else's eyes. All right. Your advice, hanged man in reverse. Don't get stuck in analysis paralysis. When the hanged man shows up in reverse as advice, it's saying, um, do the thing, don't overthink the thing. You're already working on preparing and practicing and honing skills. If you get stuck in that mode or um, at the, when the moment presents itself when you have to act, if you think instead, if you say, oh, well, let me research, let me find an answer, let me Google it real quick, then that's going to um, hinder your success. So stay in the moment, uh, trust, your, trust your training, trust your practice. This is the moment when practice pays off, where it's muscle memory. Virgo, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you back tomorrow.